Hello and welcome to your Wellness Wednesday number four. So again, my name is Samantha with Strength Counseling Services and today I bring you a topic that isn't really discussed a lot about, at least to my knowledge, in the health and wellness industry and especially in the fitness industry. So let's just dive right into it. My tip for the day before you begin or start your health and wellness journey or any journey for that matter, any new journey, any ventured journey, you need to make space. We cannot go into something, so let's just take Fitness, for example, if you're starting a new fitness regime or you're brand new to fitness and or brand new to moving your body, brand new to yoga, whatever it is that appeals to you and that you're venturing onto. And this is something that you really want to commit to yourself, whether it be to be more healthy, have more energy, be stronger, lose some weight or become even mentally and emotionally healthy because this is obviously another branch of health and wellness. And we cannot just look at things in just one linear way or one linear fashion, right? Life is not linear, it has, it's abstract, right? So we have to take into consideration uh, all points of our lives. So coming back into this journey of making space for a health, healthy journey, now, what I mean by that is making space, not necessarily in your environment, but yes, for sure. You know, if you're going to be working out at home, let's say you're starting a regime at home, clean out the space that you are going to be using. You don't really want a cluttered space when you're trying to get healthy because the clutter of the mind or a clutter of the space that you are in will bring clutter to your health. So that's one way that we can create space is cleaning out the space that we're going to be using, our environment. Another way of cleaning out space in a way that I particularly struggle with is to let go of something else that's not serving you in this moment or serving you in your goal of becoming healthy or being healthy um, I mean, remember this goal <laughs> lives on through the, your whole life and it changes. So each different venture into health, into wellness is going to take something else to release. So you really have to do some soul searching here and really ask yourself, how do I want to present myself in life? How do I want to be healthy? What does that even mean to me? And when you can come to a complete honest answer, so this may take asking yourself a whole bunch of different times, right? <laughs> it's not just one time and you get an honest answer. You have to ask yourself multiple times and then ask yourself, is there anything else that I'm leaving out? or that I am withholding or lying to myself about, right? And we don't want to think of this as a bad thing. It's not bad. It's just something that is, and we all do it, right? So one of the ways that I was lying to myself is like, I'm not taking on that much. Now I have a problem with saying no. And so I have to put myself, so my cleanliness, my space for my health and wellness is to put myself into a position where I have to say no to things, right? Where I don't really have a choice but to say no. And, and this is something that's really good for me and in my health and wellness, right? So I've, it's been a lot of practice of FOMO, letting go of FOMO, fear of missing out, right, for me. And maybe that is something that's the same for you or maybe you have Maybe you need to say yes more. Maybe you need to get out more. And so maybe you have to create space of, of that to allow the yes to take over 
and rid your mind, whether maybe it's through meditation, right, perhaps, of releasing the inability to say yes. In my case, the inability to say no, right? So we're not just take, talking about physical health. We're talking about mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical health. So no matter what journey you begin to venture onto, you have to let go of something else. And maybe multiple things. You have to clear the space to make room for this new venture so that you can completely focus on just that one thing. Putting your horse blinders on and directing yourself to where you want to go in this life. How do you want to show up? Who do you want to be? Not what do you want to look like because that is not the question to be answered. The question is who do you want to show up as? Right? And to me, that's health. So make space. If you have questions about that, feel free to contact me, Samantha at strengthcounseling.ca. I would be more than happy to answer any of your questions on this topic. And I could probably go on and on about it for a little bit longer. I, I feel stri quite strongly about this topic. So if you'd like to know more, please contact me. Um, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, maybe give me a heart or a care <laughs> or maybe an angry face or a wow. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. <laughs> All right, you guys, it Continue your venture onto your health, to your wellness. It looks different for all of us and at different stages in our lives. I'm excited for this new chapter you are on or this chapter that you are continuing to work on. I'll catch you in the next video.